For the first two years of math school, I was using analog paper method of note taking, and so I have accumulated a lot of paper clutter, which I'm never gonna be going through again, simply because it's very difficult to find the useful information right over there, simply because it doesn't have a search button. So, but after my study break, I decided to give it a try to a digital note-taking method with my iPad. And so, at first I wasn't using both Notability and Good Notes Farf app on my iPad and on my MacBook. But for all of the times which I was using them, it all looked inconvenient because of the order of the documents inside these apps. But I had no idea how to improve the situation. The answer came to me with an upgrade from my MacBook Pro to a Razer Blade laptop. Neither Notability app nor GoodNotes doesn't have Windows clients. And so the only option for me to have my notes on my computer was to transfer all of my notes to one note system app from the Microsoft. And as it appeared, it was the best option to store a big amount of information, materials, notes and so on. So first of all, in Microsoft OneNote you have a drawing option which actually allows you to use your Apple Pencil to make a handwritten note. The second thing which is more important is that there is an option of insert as a printout image. So you're in, when you're inserting a PDF or a PowerPoint presentation it converts it to the PDF and inserts it as a PDF printout. And so it gives you the ability to make notes not only on the slides but also near them. There are no any kinds of empty space left for you to make notes near the slides of the presentation, both in Notability app and GoodNotes app as well. But still, I find it the most convenient way to make my notes using Notability app, so I'm combining OneNote and Notability app's options. I make handwritten notes using Notability app, and also I make lecture recordings using Notability app, and straight after that, I am inserting the ready note of the lecture to my OneNote client. So OneNote for me is the best way to storage lots of files in one place, simply because Microsoft OneNote organizing system is the best. It's simple, you can see everything at a glance, and what's more important, you can close any notebook in the OneNote system so it doesn't bother you all of the time. And so, summarizing everything what is being said, I highly recommend you to consider trying this out OneNote app, because from the process of this note-taking app and storaging system, first of all, it's absolutely free for all of the operating systems. The second thing, it's available on a lot of operating systems like iOS, iPadOS, Android, macOS and Windows clients, so every operating system is available right for this program. Also, the awesome feature as insert as a printout, it's a completely game changer. Also, you're using one of the best software for note-taking, such as Notability or GoodNotes app, which has much, much better interaction with the stylus or the Apple Pencil, and so you're using them and storaging all of your notes in the OneNote program. So essentially, you're getting the best features from both of these apps. And also, let's not forget that search options are available for a Notability app and for a OneNote app as well, so it's much easier for you to look through your notes and to and look for, for the dedicated piece of information that you really need this time. From the cons of this system, you need to have an iPad with an Apple Pencil, because the best note-taking apps such as Notability and GoodNotes 5 apps are available only for the Apple products. In any case, I hope this video was useful for you. Feel free to leave comments on the system down below and see you guys next week. Peace!